Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll figure out if the number 1729 is a Carmichael number or not. This is gonna involve some pivotal concepts of number theory such as congruences, the Chinese remainder theorem, and many more. We'll use the very basic method to understand about Carmichael numbers with clarity and we'll also use the Korsoltz criterion, a, a shorter way to find that out. Let's get into it. An integer n greater than 1 is a Carmichael number if n is a composite number and for an integer a, a to the power n minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo n whenever a and n are relatively prime. So from this definition, we have to check if for any integer a, whenever a and 1729 are relatively prime, a to the power 1728 is congruent to 1 modulo 1729. Firstly, we factorize 1729 by the Fermat's factorization method. In the first step of factorization, let's set a value m which is equal to the ceiling function of square root of n. The ceiling function of a number is defined as the smallest integer greater than that number. So, the value of m is 42. Secondly, we compute the following values by putting the values of m and n, where k is a natural number. These values are calculated until we obtain a natural number. Let that value be s. On reaching the value of k equal to 13, we finally get the natural number s, which is equal to 36 after several iterations. Also, we have to set a value t given by m plus k. On putting the required values, we have t equals 55. Therefore, the Fermat's factorization is given by n equals t plus s times t minus s, which is the final step of factorization. From the values of t and s, we have 1729 equal to 91 times 19. On further factorizing 91, we have 1729 is equal to 7 times 13 times 19, which is the required factorization as all the three factors are prime. There is another example on Fermat's factorization method in one of my uploads. You can check that out. The link of the video is in the description. Now, in order to check the properties of Carmichael number for n equals 1729, we have to see the following two things. Firstly, we have to see if n is a composite number. The second thing to be checked is that if for all integers a, with the GCD of a and 1729 being 1, a to the power 1728 is congruent to 1 modulo 1729. As 1729 is equal to 7 times 13 times 19, it will be a composite number and it fulfills the first condition. Now, to check the second condition, let a and 1729 be relatively prime. Since from the factorization of 1729, we have the prime numbers 7, 13, and 19. So, a is not a multiple of 7, 13, and 19. Next, we use Fermat's little theorem, which says for a prime number p, such that for any integer a, with GCD of a and p equal to 1, a to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo p. As 7, 13, and 19 are prime numbers, we get the following by Fermat's little theorem. Using these results, we write a to the power 1728 equals a to the power 6 times 288 is congruent to 1 modulo 7. Similarly, a to the power 1728 is congruent to 1 modulo 13 and 1 modulo 19. Hence, we the following congruences. Now, we will use the Chinese remainder theorem which states that for our pairwise coprime positive numbers, the system of our simultaneous congruences has a unique solution for x modulo capital M, which is equal to the product of the R coprime numbers. Here, we have a system of three congruences, so the solution, that is, a to the power 1728 has a unique solution modulo 7 times 13 times 19, which is 1729. Finally, combining the above congruences by Chinese remainder theorem, A is congruent to 1 modulo 1729. This implies that 1729 satisfies the second condition as well. Hence, 1729 is a Carmichael number. 
We've verified this by using the basic definition and conditions of a Carmichael number. However, there is another way to do that by using a property of Carmichael number called Korsoltz criterion. The Korsoltz criterion or theorem states that a composite integer n usually greater than 2 is a Carmichael number if and only if n is square free for every prime p dividing n, p minus 1 divides n minus 1. From the factorization of 1729, we observe that none of the prime factors occur with an exponent greater than 1, which means that other than 1, there is no perfect square that divides this number. Thus, 1729 is square free. For the second part of the criterion, we have the prime factors 7, 13, and 19. We see that 6, 12, and 18 divide 1728. That means for every prime p dividing n, p minus 1 divides n minus 1. This verifies the Korsoltz criterion and again, 1729 is a Carmichael number. Before the end of this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you for watching.